This is Rusty at Possum Bayou. I'm going to show a little bit about my hen scale railroading. My channel is going to be mostly on model railroading, hen scale. Maybe some stories I'll tell, maybe some outdoor activities. I'm um, a basic philosopher when I deal with hen scale. I basically look at the modeling as I'm looking at something from a distance, not so much as a miniature. Also, I'm using Code 55 track, primarily Atlas and and uh, microengineering. I almost forgot what the other one was. Uh, basically, I'm using a microengineering flex track because I like it because it's kind of stiff and it kind of stays where I put it. And I'll show you where I, where, where I got it laid out here now, and I'll kind of explain as I'm going through with this. Here's kind of the way I got everything a little bit laid out now. Now, if you see this track, this main line here I got going through, and I'll come around, and I'll go over here. You see where I have this track sitting there? What I did was I took most of this track as, as one piece. I have took flex track in my turnouts, taken them over to a workbench and sawed them together as in one piece. That way I can sit this thing down as in one piece. And I've got some cork on some of this stuff right here. And I'm on May, I'll probably put a little bit of cork on the yard there. And I got a little uh, shed there, a little storage unit there. And I got some other little things I'm trying to place them in there. And I've, this Red Wing mill factory there, I've painted it not long ago. I used some gray military paint then with some Rust-Oleum brown uh, camouflage paint. And I got over here, I'm gonna have in that corner, it's gonna take up a lot of room, is a Superior Paper Company. I've got that one to sit over here. And I got like a little small building over there just gonna, just gonna be there for decoration. Just It's there, who knows what it was for. But I'm primarily going to use like these more these more modern wood chip cars, and I've got varying types of bulkhead cars that I can use for pulp wood and other things. And that's kind of what I've got going on now. And I got got a door over there, and I got you can see all the junk on my other table, other setup. And I've got some kind of they're kind of like tables, but they're bolted to the wall, and they got a little legs. Well, that one's actually got like framework and some shelves underneath it, and I keep stuff under there. And I got a closet back over there. It's going to make a, for an odd something. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off of that table over there, come out a little bit and have about 12 inches or so on this side. And I'll have, let's say, maybe some raised areas there back into the closet where I can kind of do some switch backs and maybe get some pup wood logs back over here. Then to go around the room, I got a, another little problem there with some more doors over here, but I can, I'm going to make something I can slide into that corner over there. And I can also have a piece going in here. And right there, I have another bedroom that I can actually plan on running some modular tables back over in there for some staging and some off the railroad things. And that's all I got for right now. This is my first video. We'll see how it goes from there. All right. Good night.